<laughs> oh man, I can't help laughing. This, this is just too good. All of this, all of this is just too funny. It's too great. It's too good, man. Um, we in the springtime of joy, man. Devil May Cry 5 is out. Literally, like about, I'll say an hour, maybe an hour ago, they released the Devil May Cry 5 soundtrack. I bought that immediately. So yeah, the soundtrack has come out. So if you want to buy that, I bought that. I think it's something crazy, like 186 tracks or something crazy like that. I bought it. I'm happy, right? And I thought, you know what? I'm going to do my review. I'm going to do my review about Devil May Cry. I'm going to do a long version. This is going to be the short version, basically. Um, I'm going to start off doing a spoiler-free review and then a... Uh, review, yeah, where well, I talk about spoilers, but it's a short version, yeah. I'll do more depth on later on. So, spoiler free review for now, basically, is the game is super godlike, yeah. Super godlike game. The game has got like loads of story, um, cutscenes, fantastic characters. So, when you hear like Nero talking with Nico, the characters are so good. They got so much personality and vibrant and interesting and cool banter. Yeah, um, banter basically is because you guys might not might not know what banter is. It's when two people are talking and there's like frivolous conversation, like when Nero says, um, "Your quality control for your weapons are garbage." You know that? And Nico's like, "Well, try not letting the demons smack you around so much." And then Nero's like, "Yeah, whatever, man. That's banter." Like, bouncing off each other, like, the conversations is godlike. The characters are so interesting and so cool and it fascinating that you love to hear them talk all the time. So the more they talk, you feel blessed and lucky that you're seeing their, seeing their characters grow and change and evolve. And seeing how they react to certain um, situations and events. Because the game has got such good motion capture and face facial animations you see like the slightest little even the eyeballs like you see like slight little bits like when um someone says something sarcastic and they someone finds it stupid they're like or if they find something embarrassing and they're like yeah right <laughs> you know you see like the little smirks the little face expressions the little um cheeks the little cheeky winks you see everything is so interesting the hair on the characters is amazing, right? I swear the in-game graphics of this game is better than how Advent Children, the CG movie, looked. It's absolutely astounding. Even from the, when the moment the game starts up and you get that intro where the um, Nico flips the car over and Nero jumps out of it and he's like jumping around the car, shooting off the demons and doing all that type of stuff and then jumps back into the car again after he's been in the air about... 17 feet in the air spinning round Nero jumped out of it right and it lands into it with the credit that's the credit um roll and you see like the names of all the people that made the game that's just the intro and that's like mind-blowing it's crazy I mean when you first play a video game you don't expect the game to have such magic this game has it this is a true triple a video game unbelievable I give this game a 10 out of 10. Godlike story, incredible content. Yeah, it's got so many content. It's got like, and when you go to the main menu, there's like mission selects. You can choose what mission you want to go in. There's secret missions, which kind of gives you like a challenge. Like you said, you have to do a battle without touching the floor, right? Or you have to like try to kill all those enemies, get an S rank and keep it at S rank minimum. Secret missions like that. Um, you could go to a thing called The Void where you could do training and you do need the training because there's so many different combo potential options in this game it's incredible right um of course you've got the options where you can change like the music that plays in battle that plays in the menus the way the characters look um there's the store you know which you don't need like the red orbs you don't need to buy none of that stuff Right, there's more than enough orbs to get in the game. And when you get a, we a weapon called Dr. Faust, right, that weapon is ridiculous. The amount of red orbs you can get with that weapon is insane, 
right? Um, the gallery, you can look at, listen to music from past Death May Cry games. You can look at the character models, 3D models, at different points of them in the game. Uh, you can look, listen to the change the menus so that um, when you hear the announcer during your combat, it's got different announcers. Like you'll hear like Trish talking. Like when they do like you get S rank or you get A rank or a B rank or a C rank. Basically in the combat you'll go crazy, badass, uh, super sassy, uh, sexy. Like you hear Nico saying that. You'll hear Trish saying that. And they all say different things. Right, so even though it's a triple S, it's super sexy style. Nico will say super sassy, sexy. Yeah, it changes, right? And in the main menu, the actual start screen, that can change a lot as well. You can change it so you hear different people. You hear Dante, you can hear Urizen, you can hear Nero, you can hear V, you can hear Morrison, you can hear Lady, you hear all the different characters say different stuff um, at the main menu. Right, so the game is incredible. Uh, definitely a 10 out of 10 game. I bloody love it. Um, yeah, that's all I really want to say for a spoiler-free review. So let's end it there, yeah? And if you want to listen to me say a little bit, it's a, this is a short review, yeah? For the main game, then stick with me.